with the given problem and the given variables we're going to want to solve for it. And what we're essentially solving for is the worst case fall time in picoseconds for a two input NOR gates if we're given the rest of these variables. So we'll go through some steps on how to solve a problem that's just like this. Your variables might not be the same, so that's why I say that. Step one is we want to find the difference in percentage. The way we're going to do this is with LN. So we're going to have LN, we're going to have 100 minus the lower percentage divided by 100 minus the higher percentage. And for my problem specifically, this is going to be LN of 100 minus 10 over 100 minus 90. And this is going to give me approximately 2.2. .2. So that's what we have here for this one. Step two. Step two is going to be finding the RN resistance here. And this is going to be equal to, we can go in the description below the like button. There are some notes down there. It's going to be one divided by our beta N. And I'll explain all this in a second because the notes don't do this. Our VDD minus our VTH. Now for this specific problem, our VTH is going to be equal to our VTP, but the absolute value of VTP, that's very important. And our beta N is also going to be needed to expand it because we don't have a beta N here. Beta N is going to be equal to our K prime N times our W over L N. And if it's P, you just switch the subscripts. And for this specific problem, that's going to give me a resistance here, an R N equal to 1.37 times 10 to the 3 ohms. That's resistance. Now, step 3. We're almost done. Step 3 is for our TR. We're finding TR. And TR is just combining everything that we've calculated. So that's why I did all the prior steps. And TR is going to be equal to the LN we found in step 1. You're going to multiply it by the RN. That's step 2. This is what the equation says, OK? And the next thing that we're going to multiply it by is the capacitance out. And what is that? Well, the capacitance out, and we'll do this in gray, is given to us. The capacitance on the output of this logic gate is 43 femtofarads. So for this problem, we are going to have 2.2 .2 times a 1.37 times e to the third. And then we're going to have our 43 and then a e to the negative 15 because that is femtofarads. Now this is going to give me a TR of approximately 1.3 and then e to the negative 10. Now this would be our answer, but it's asking us for us in picoseconds. So in picoseconds, one pico is 10 to the negative 12. Once we do all this out, we're going to get 1.3 and then e to the two, right? And then from this, we just move two over, and this is going to give us 130. And so the answer for this problem is going to be 130. That's how we would go about solving for it, and I hope it helped.